What's up guys? As you can see, we are in a completely different room. And we also haven't posted anything in like over a week, which to all five of our subscribers, like we're really, really sorry. Yeah, we actually caught somebody standing outside our window the other night, watching us through our window. We had just uploaded our last video, What Lesbians Do in the Morning, like within, you know, the hour. Yeah. I was sitting up basically with my head resting like against the window. I heard the noise right by my head and it was like a ch -ch -ch -ch. Like Delia heard it too and she started barking like crazy so, and I was like that noise was definitely right by my head. Mm -hmm. And mind you, this was like 11 o'clock at night so it wasn't super late. Our lights were on. He knew her head was there which is even creepier. Yeah, he could probably see it. Yeah. Uh, whenever I saw Delia barking out the window, I moved the curtain and I looked out and I saw this guy just like ch -ch, like take off. He was running like as fast as he could down the street. Dressed all in black. Yeah, he was wearing like a hoodie and like sweatpants and he had, it looked like something white, like a white t-shirt or something under the hoodie and like the hoodie was blowing up because he was running so fast because I think Delia kind of scared the crap out of him. So yeah, I just watched him run away and I was just kind of in shock like, wow, that guy was legit looking right in our window. So then I started freaking the freaking heck out. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nope. I've seen those scary movies where mm -hmm. people are like, get out. Mm -hmm. Stop going there! Mm -hmm. And they don't get out. Yeah. And some thing happens. Other weird things started happening yeah. before. God, I'm having a Sam, this is some scary shit. Yeah, okay. Other creepy things had happened. Like sometimes we would hear footsteps like outside the bathroom window or Delia would bark out that one window a lot and I would always look, especially if I was home alone. I never saw anything. I don't know if that's because like maybe the guy ducked or like went and hid somewhere or something. I don't I don't know. One night when I was home alone, because she was working late, it was like eleven then too, and somebody was knocking on the door like like a really um like just doing a little knock though. It was really quiet. And I didn't go answer it because why would I answer the door at 11 at night by myself? And there's no peephole, and the neighborhood that we're in isn't terrible, but it's really not that great either. It's a lot of crackheads. The crackheads are the scary part, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were super ballsy, and that's what freaked me out too, because it wasn't that late. It was like, our house is on the corner. Like, there's so many different, like, there's three different roads a car could come from and see them mm -hmm. yeah it's weird that somebody was that ballsy and we went outside after we heard the noise mm -hmm. and there was like a little indentation in the ground and you could see like it looked like it's a spot where somebody stood all the time because nowhere else was sunken in like that so yeah so who knows how long he's been standing there which is creepy mm-hmm I freak out and I call my mom because we proceeded to have a discussion because I wanted to go. She, her whole argument was, why are we going to leave tonight if we're just going to come back tomorrow night and sleep here? I wanted to get out of there because that was very ballsy and creepy and if he had been messing with us for a while, who knows what he wanted to do next. And I didn't want to find out. Yeah. Somebody wanted to stay in case they robbed the house. Which... I, no, I just was like, didn't see the point in leaving. Comment below if you would have left. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or I didn't want to stay. I just didn't want to really leave if we were just going to come back the next day. That's all. But then she was like, we're never coming back here again. And I was like, okay, fine, we'll leave. This is happening. I already snapped on her. We didn't bother calling the cops because... So, <laughs> I'm on the phone with my mom. It's already like midnight. And 
all of a sudden I see this black guy on a bike. Wow, racist. And he was wearing what she described, like a black sweater, Because I didn't pants. see what color person he was when he was running away. I had no idea. No. All she saw was whenever he was running, that a white block, which she didn't know if it was an undershirt or if it was part of the hoodie. And he was riding from the opposite way of where the other guy ran. Yeah. I'm looking out the window and we make eye contact and he freaks out. Like he's on the bike and he's like, whoa. And he kind of like turned around and went the other way. So I knew right then and there that that was the guy standing outside our window. Freaked me out again because why was he coming back? Yeah. So then she made me call the cops. Yeah. And there was like six cop cars there within like two minutes. We moved out that night. Uh, in the middle of the night, we went to her mom's house, which was, you know, it was fun. It was good. It was like a sleepover for like a few nights, which was nice. And now we moved into Doggo's house. Here's a video of Doggo singing in my car so that you guys know who that is because we mention him a lot. <laughs> That's Doggo. He's cool. So in summary, guys, don't look in people's windows when they're at home. That's rude. Yeah, and creepy. Yeah, and it's really fucked up because things like this happen to a lot of girls. Yeah. And uh, when I went to my work and told people, basically all of them had a story of something similar happening from the time, like some of them from the time they were kids, which is like, ew. It's really fucked up that we live in a world like this. Always close your curtains if it's nighttime. Lock your doors. Lock your doors. Hide your keys. Hide your wife. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.